Overfeeding your fish has a lot of consequences in your fish farm. It leads to reduction of water quality. It increases the nitrogen level in your water. It leads to stress and mortality in your fish farm. I've had videos on that. I will leave it in the description. But when you notice that you have overfed your fish, because this is very common in most fish farmers, even including experienced fish farmers, there are times that you might not even consider overfeeding them, only to realize that you have overfed them. So when that happens, there's a need to take immediate measures to ensure that the impact of the overfeeding is less in your fish farm. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that you have to do when you notice you overfed your fish immediately. First and foremost, when you notice that you have overfed your fish, as the feed is still on the pond of the fish pond, that is the palleted floating feed. Once you notice that the fish are no more consuming the feed, but it is still on the surface, the first thing you have to do is that you need to collect the feed on the surface. You can do this by using the scooping net or the feeding net or anything that can aid you to take out the remaining feed on the surface. So this should be the first thing you do so that the remaining feed will not be dissolved into the, uh, the, the, the fish pond. Because when it dissolves in the fish pond, that's where you encounter so many challenges I've enumerated. Now, after doing this, when you notice that the fish water or the quality is reducing, you need to also increase aeration or add aeration if you don't have aerator from in your fish farm. If you are not using aeration system, an aeration system is a system where oxygen is added into the fish pond to complement the natural oxygen in the pond. So whether if you don't have aerator system in your pond, if you don't have aeration system in your pond, you can do this, your water pond. Now, if you don't have the aeration system, add it or fix it. And if you do, increase the rate at which it works. So that when you increase the speed or the working capacity of the aerator system, it's going to take care of the fish overfed feed and then you are not going to feel the impact of the overfeeding. Now, if you have also done this, and you still note that there is still the effect of the overfeeding in your pond, you can add bitter leaves or salt or antibiotics or any natural remedy to the fish pond. This will increase the capacity of the enzymes or the bacteria to help break down the ammonia into use. One thing, one thing you should also do when you notice you overfed your fish, is to clean your pond parameters, especially if you are using the recycled aquatic system. When that happens, the, the soluble or the insoluble particles that are the leftover feed, sometimes when it sinks or dissolves, it moves into the flotation system and cause blockage or it clog and block the recycled aquatic system, therefore making the flotation to be less effective. So another thing you should do is that Make sure you clean your circuit aquatic system very well after noticing overfeeding. Then to take out those feet that is clogged or that has blocked the rust system. Then when that happens, then the circuit aquatic system will be working smoothly and then it will keep floating again. And if you are lucky, you are not going to face the consequences of overfeeding. When you have done all this and you notice that it hasn't changed, then what you should also do is that you need to partially change the water in the pond. If I say partially change, you have to reduce or take out the water in the pond in halfway or more than halfway and then top it up with fresh water. So that's what I mean by partial reducing or partial filling or partial topping up your fish pond. So when that happens, it's going to neutralize the remaining water in the pond and then you are going to have a balanced system and that will reduce the impact of the overfeeding in your pond. Now what you should also note is that don't forget to test the water. Use the appropriate test kit to determine the pH level, the ammonia level, the nitrogen level and all the elements in the fish pond 
to ensure that everything is in the right proportion. So when you do that and that test, and you notice that there are lapses, then you correct it with the measures I've enumerated, or you change the water, and then you are good to go. But don't just change the water once because you may also stress them. That's why I say you should use partial changing method. One of the most important things you should also do when you notice you have overfed your feet is to reduce the amount of feet that you give them. Or if possible, give them break. Give them a day break or reduce the quantity of fish feed that you give them. In that case, they, as they have overfed and they have more feet in the system, digestion is difficult for them. So when you give them break or you reduce the amount of feed you give them, then they are able to digest the feed that they have taken over and then they will be well again and then you start or you increase the feed to your normal rate again. Now, this is very important and don't think that if you reduce or if you give them break, you are going to starve them. No, because they overfed, their digestion system becomes weak. So because the digestive system is weak, they need that break or reduction of the feet, then they can be able to break down the already consumed feet and then you can keep giving them at a normal rate again. So if you implement these measures, you are going to ensure that you have overcome and control the overfeeding that you have done. And then that is going to help you. You will not face the impact of overfeeding, such as introduction of high ammonia, reducing of oxygen and then also leading to mortality do these things to save your fish from mortality and make more profit from your farm and that's the ultimate goal of every fish farmer if you have and before i even hand out i mentioned that you should use the red test kit to test the water parameters i'm going to leave the link in the description you can check a red test kit in there that will help you to take and measure the parameters in your fish pond. Thank you very much for watching and then I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to watch the next video on the end screen. Thank you.